So, hello my dear students and welcome to another video lecture for state taxation. Now, in the previous video, we have discussed um, what are the items to be included in the gross state of a decedent and how do we value those items included in the gross estate or simply what are the inclusions and exclusion in the gross estate, okay? Now, um, uh, in continuation for uh, the state tax, no, we are to discuss na the, what are the deductions from the gross estate. No? So deductions are the amounts or items that the law allows to be deducted from the gross state to arrive at the net state or the net taxable estate. No? So yung, gross, uh, yung deductions from the gross state should be grouped into yung, yung allowed deductions for RC uh, and RC and RA and those allowed deductions for non-resident alien. Okay? So, yung deductions, uh, we uh, divide siya into two. We have ordinary deductions and the special deductions. So, the ordinary deductions includes um, yung losses, indebtedness taxes, the cash of the losses, the claim against insolvent person, claim against the state, the unpaid mortgage and unpaid taxes. We also have transfer for public use and then proper, uh, property previously taxed or vanishing deduction. Yung special deduction naman, we have standard deduction, the family home, amount received by years under RA 4917 and share of the surviving spouse. Okay, so we shall discuss it one by one. No, And then what are the requisites? No, um, before maklaim natin siya as deduction and na yung uh, amount no to be deductible okay so later discuss natin siya one by one okay you also have uh, the allowed deduction for a non-resident alien resident okay si NRA allowed din siya magdeduct ng claims against insolvent person claims against the state and unpaid mortgage pero subject siya to limitation no so, how do we compute for the deductions allowed? We have gross state Philippines over gross state world, meaning to say, uh, we'll a ratio. No? So, in numerator mo is gross state Philippines. Yung denominator mo is yung gross state sa Philippines plus gross state mo uh, uh, abroad. Kaya nga, gross state world. So, you take note that yung uh, NRA, taxable lang siya within, di ba? So, yung gross state niya sa Philippines over yung gross state niya uh, sa Philippines plus abroad. So, i-multiply mo lang sa world claims against the state, claims against insolvent person, and unpaid mortgage. Then, uh, you'll determine na what are the allowed deduction no, for the world, uh, for the claims against the state, claim against insolvent person, and unpaid mortgage. So, si NRA, pwede din siya mag-claim ng vanishing deduction uh, considering that the property lang, the property is included in the Philippines or situated in the Philippines or included in the gross estate. We also have transfer for public use. Same thing then, dapat nasa Philippines or included in the gross estate. Then, share of the surviving spouse uh, if um, married, yun decedent. And then, uh, allowed din sa mag-deduct ng standard deduction of 500,000. Okay? So, let's discuss one by one the deductions and what are the requisites. So, let's start with the casualty losses. So, yung casualty losses, this includes losses due to fire, storm, shipwreck, theft, robbery, or embezzlement. Or yung um, casualty losses arising from fortuitous events. No? So, what are the requisites? No? for the um, casualty losses na para madedact natin siya um, in the uh, from the gross estate okay yan so what are the requisites first uh, dapat encourage siya during the settlement of the state okay so it must be emphasized no that losses are deductible only if they occur during the settlement of the state or or before the deadline of filing the state tax return, meaning to say that's one year from a resident's death. No? Before, it's actually six months, but yung pag-revise, no, nag-train law na tayo, naging one year na. So, one year na din yung um, um, settlement ng estate. Okay? And also, 
uh, the loss should not be compensated by insurance or otherwise the loss is not claimed at a deduction in the state tax in the state income tax return okay and um say for example you do have um property the fair value is 500,000 at the time of uh at the time of death okay so diba, um all properties included uh in the gross state no should be at fair value at uh uh, at the time of death. So, say for example, you do have uh, a building, no, um, worth five hundred thousand, or the fair value is five hundred thousand, and then due to fire, you lost the ano, uh, um, the property, no. So, if the property is fully uh, compensated by insurance, meaning say you receive from the insurance company amounting to five hundred thousand, or 500,000 or more than 100,000, then di na siya pwede i-claim as a deduction kasi fully compensated siya by insurance, no? Pero, uh, if portion lang, no? If portion lang ang um, na-claim mo sa insurance, say for example, uh, you claim lang 300,000, no? You claim 500,000 from the insurance company. Yan, you have claimed uh, 300,000 from insurance company. So, ang i-deduct mo is 200,000. So, mangyayari, you include in the gross state at 500,000 and then uh, sa deductions, mag-claim ka ng 200,000. The 200,000 is the portion of the um, loss na wala i-cover sa insurance. Okay? So, if uh, fully compensated by insurance, then this is already added up. So again, yun siya. Uh, the loss must not occur not later than the last day for the payment of the state tax. That's actually one year. So, so the amount deductible, the amount deductible is the value of property lost. Okay, so that's the casualty losses. Next, we do have. Um, Claim against insolvent person. So these are receivables of the decedent or on persons declared by competent authorities as insolvent. So claim against insolvent person no, is a form of loss but is presented as separate item of deduction in the state tax return. Okay. So what are the requisites no um para maclaim mo siya no uh, as deduction? yung uh, claims against insolvent person. So, dapat, as a rule, um, the value of the decedent's interest therein is included in the gross estate. We need to say, the gross amount of receivable should be included in the gross estate. And then, um, we need to establish na um, uh, insolvent talaga si debtor. No? So, uh, kailan man ma-insolvent Young person. Of course, its total liabilities is greater than its total assets. Diba? So, we need to say um, the assets is less than the total liabilities. So, insolvent na yan siya. So, yung amount deductible natin is the amount of claim receivable that cannot be collected. No, Meaning to say, yung portion na uncollectable. Yan. So say for example, we have here, Mr. X borrowed 150000 from Y. So after a month, the debtor paid 50000 So the balance is 100000 na lang, diba? So Mr. X died. So by his death, the court declared Mr. X insolvent. So the total assets and total liabilities of, of the debtor, meaning, say Mr. X, um... Yan, um amounts to 200,000 and 500,000 respectively. So, the total assets and liabilities are 200,000 and 500,000 respectively. Okay, so, um, you include in the gross state 100,000 kasi dapat the, dapat the full amount of the receivable should be included in the gross estate. Yan. And then, um, the proportionate amount of 40,000 is still collectible, diba? Kasi 
um, that's 40,000. That's actually 100,000 times 2 over 5. 2 over 5 is the ratio from the total asset over total liabilities. Yun yung portion na collectible pa. Meaning to say, out of the 100,000, pwede pa maklaim yung 40. So, ang amount na deduct natin is yun yung portion na uncollectible. Meaning to say, um, 100,000 less 40,000. No. The total receivable na 100 less yung 40 na pwede po mamakollect, then yung uncollectable is 60,000. Okay? So, in summary, you include in the gross state at 100,000, then uh, sa deductions, magdadak ka ng 60,000. Okay? That's parang net receivable of 40,000. But, isaparate mo siya pa percent. 100,000 sa gross state, then 60,000 as deduction. Okay? So, uh, you do not uh, are, uh, report in the gross state at 40. So, mali yun. So, dapat 100,000 from the gross state, 60,000 60, as deduction. Okay? Next, we have um, claim against the state. No? So, these are financial obligation of the decedent prior to his her death and still enforceable at the time of death. Okay? So, what are the requisites for it to be deductible? It should be contracted in good faith. So, must be valid and enforceable in court. No? So, must not have been condoned by the creditors. No? So, then, must have not been prescribed. No? Kasi may, uh, may prescription period tayo. So, di pa dapat prescribe yung um, obligation. Then, uh, personal debt of the decedent existing at the time of his death. So, dapat um, debt of the decedent um, debts and debts at the time of his or obligation siya ni debts at the time of his okay, so yung amount deductible natin is the amount of debt that will qualify in the above requirements yan so, if how, uh, if, ano, how much yung unpaid obligation uh, uh, yun yung portion din na, na i-deduct natin so, we also have unpaid mortgage. No? So, unpaid mortgage, mortgage, these are amounts owed by the decedent, supported with collateral and still outstanding at the time of his death. Okay? So, parang, um, uh, parang nag-loan ka, diba? Tapos, um, collateral mo yung real properties, no? Um, for the said loan. No? So, ang requisite niya, so, di ba kay, i-collateral mo ang property, dapat as a rule, the fair market value of the mortgage property and diminished by the mortgage indebtedness should be included in a cross estate. So, say for example, you do have um, building worth 2 million, tas ano siya, um, i-collateral mo for a loan, no? Dapat the fair value of the building, no, should be included in the gross estate. Yan. Pero ang i-claim mo na deduction, the amount of unpaid mortgage, is just that the fair value of the property should be included in the gross estate. Okay? Dapat it should be contracted in good faith and then for adequate and full consideration. Okay? So again, the amount deductible is um, uh, is the amount of unpaid mortgage no? as of the time of death. As of the time of death. Okay? Again. So, we also have um, unpaid taxes. So, um, these are taxes that uh, that have accrued no, as of the death of a decedent, which were unpaid as of the time of death. Okay, so this includes tax such as income tax, business tax, and property tax, which have accrued as of the death of a decedent, and which were unpaid no, at, uh, at the time of death. So, well, it might be... It must be emphasized that only obligations existing at the point of death are deductible. No? So, obligations including taxes which are settled before death and those accruing after death are not deductible from the gross estate. No? So, yung amount deductible natin, these are amount of taxes that accrued before the decedent's death but not including uh, income tax on income earned after death, okay? Uh, property tax that accrue after death, and then the state tax. So, ito yung uh, dilik pwede i-claim 
no, as unpaid taxes. So, that, kasi dapat mag-accru siya before the residence there. Kasi these are, these, these, ano, these the taxes are taxes na nag-accru after na, after the death of the resident. Yun siya. Okay? Next, we have transfer for public use. So, these are amounts of bequests, legacies, or, devi uh, or devices for to or for the use of the government of the Philippines exclusively for public purpose. Okay? Um, ano yung requisite niya? So, the requisites are given to the proper, uh, given to the government of the Philippines, national or local. So, any property na gidonate ni mo sa uh, government, may it be local government or national government, uh, makonsider siya as transfer for public use. Okay? Must be testamentary in character. Then, uh, by way of donation, Marcus Causa, um, executed by the decedent before his death. So, dapat Mortis causa siya, Mortis causa siya, din siya intervivos, no? And then, exclusively for public purpose. So, yun siya, okay? Yung amount deductible, so the amount of all bequests, legacies, devices, or transfers uh, to or for the use of the government or any of its political subdiv uh, divisions, okay? So, meaning to say, um, yung property na includes a gross state, the uh, sa deduction, i-claim mo rin siya as deduction. Kumbaga, if for example, you have property worth 1 million, okay, na uh, gitransfer mo for public use na mag-take effect uh, upon death. So, na-include siya in the gross state at 1 million, then i-claim mo siya as deduction as transfer for public public use, no, amounting to 1 million. So, kumbaga, ang net niya is zero. Na-include mo siya sa gross state at fair value. This, i-deduct mo rin siya sa gross state at fair value. Okay? We also have um, property previously taxed or the vanishing deduction. So, ito yung medyo, ano, uh, so, di-compute na, na deduction. Kasi, so, Parang the purpose of vanishing deduction is to minimize the effects of double tax double tax on the same property within a short period of time. No? No. So what are the requisites for deductions? No. So so there is a property forming part of the gross state of the present resident situated in the Philippines. Yan siya. Then the present dissident must acquire the property by inheritance or donation within five years prior to his death. Yan. So, you take note that uh, subject lang sa the vanishing deduction if na-acquire mo siya through get with transfer either by inheritance or by donation. Yan siya. Uh, say for example, so, so, Mr. X died, no? Then yung, uh, yung property na transfer kay Y, no? Okay, then, so of course, when Mr. X died, so the state of Mr. X paid state tax, diba? And then, um, after how many years, no? or but less than five years, um, Mr. Y died din naman. So, yung property na transfer kay Z, okay? So, so yung property, no? Included siya sa gross state ni Y, ba? So, parang yung purpose ng ano, vanishing deduction is to minimize, diba, um, the burden of paying tax, no? Kasi, uh, kasi no, namatay si X, ba? Included siya sa property ni X, then he paid state tax. And since namatay naman si Y, after how many years, after how many years, so, included siya sa property ni Y. So, uh, magbay na naman ng state tax. So, yun siya. So, the present dissident, meaning si Y, acquired the property by inheritance or donation within five years. Yeah. So, again, either gratuitous trans, uh, either donation or succession, basta ka gratuitous transfer. Okay? So, the property subject to vanishing deduction can be identified as the one received in the prior decedent or from the donor. 
or can be identified as having acquired in exchange for the property so received. So meaning to say, yung property subject of addition deduction is the same property. Meaning yung, for example, ito kanina, yung the transfer, the transfer uh, from X to Y, in siya. It's the same property, the subject to vanishing deduction. Okay? So the property acquired uh, form part of the gross state of the prior resident or for or of the taxable gift of the donor. So yun siya. So the state tax on the prior or gift tax of the gift must have been paid and the state tax of the present uh, of the prior resident has not previously availed of the vanishing deduction. Pwede ko say, once lang maklaim ang vanishing deduction. You know? So, yun siya. So, dapat, in, uh, ano din, yung maklaim mo rin yung ano, uh, vanishing deduction if the state tax sa pagkamatay ni X na bayaran na. No? Then, yun nga, no? the, uh, the state of the prior resident has not been, has not previously availed of the vanishing deduction. Kasi, for, say for example, um, mamatay na po si Y, uh, mamatay na po si Z, no? So, then, matransfer na po ng property kay Z. Diba? Matransfer na property kay Z. Matay na po si Z. So, dito po siya pwede maklaim as vanishing deduction. Kasi naklaim na siya uh, kay Y. So, once lang maklaim ang vanishing deduction for the said property. Okay? Yan siya. So, um, yung percentage of vanishing deduction, mag-vary siya depende sa year. Pero dapat within 5 years. No? Okay, diba, requisite man yun na dapat um, the present resident acquired the property by inheritance or donation within 5 years. So, pag not more than 1 year, the percentage of deduction is 100%. Pag 1 year naman to 2 years, 80%. Pag 2 to 3, 60%. 3 to 4, 40%. 4 to 5, 20%. Pag more than 5 years, uh, di siya pwede i-claim as vanishing deduction. Kaya nga may requisite na dapat na acquire siya within 5 years. No, prior to uh, the present residence um, death. Okay? Yan siya. So, what are the procedures in computing the vanishing deduction? So, uh, you'll determine first the initial value by comparing the fair market value of the property used in computing the first uh, first transfer tax paid for the fair market value of the property in the present resident. So the lower of the two is the initial value. Meaning to say, fair market value at the time of death sa present resident, then or fair market value sa um, ano sa prior resident, whichever is lower. Meaning, fair, uh, fair market value sa prior or present resident, whichever is lower. So, take note, this is deduction, so whichever is lower. Yan. So, from the initial value taken, deduct any mortgage or line on, uh, mortgage or line on the property previously taxed, which was paid by the resident prior to his death. Versus mortgage or line was deduction from the gross state of the prior resident or gross gift of the donor. So, yun yung initial basis. Okay? So, meaning initial basis minus mortgage rate. Nung yun siya. So, um, you'll get the initial basis, then you deduct yung mortgage rate. Take note, mortgage rate um, prior to the present resident's death. Okay? Yan. So, the initial value taken as reduced by step B, yan, shall further be reduced by prorated deduction for losses, indebtedness, taxes, and transfer for public use uh, only, allocable to the uh, property previously tax or as follows. Okay, so initial basis divide gross estate. So, again, your initial basis, that is the um, fair market value of the property at the time of the death of the resident. Or prior to the debt, whichever is lower, less mortgage paid. No? Times deductions. These deductions are uh, losses, indebtedness taxes, plus transfer public use. The young portion and deductible. So, initial basis um, less, I know, um, portion deductible as per rated 
for the initial basis, divide cross play times the deductions. That's the final basis. Then, determine the time interval between the death of the present decedent and the prior decedent. No? Yan siya. Para makabalo ka, pila ang rate na gamiton. Diba? Here, kasi, uh, diba, yung rate na gamiton is magdepende kung pila ka uh, years. No? So, after that, determine na nimo ang percentage of vanishing deduction to arrive at uh, at the uh, allowable deduction as vanishing deduction. Okay? Say for example ito, yan, so, Val Halyada died on November 20, 2018. So, some of the properties he left are the following. So, we have here, land na acquired niya by donation um, on June 3, 2014, uh, July 3, 2014. No? Then, the fair market value at the time of uh, death of the prior resident or date acquired is 500,000. Then, fair market value at the time of death sa present resident which is a Valhalyada. Okay? Uh, is 350,000. Okay? So, yung car, mode of acquisition niya is by purchase. So, you take note that, di ba, um, allowed lang tayo mag-vanish yung deduction if it, it was acquired gratuitously. No? Gratuitous transfer. So, yung car na na-acquire mo, na acquire mo through pag-purchase is not allowed vanish yung deduction. So, yun lang land na receive mo um, by way of donation. Okay? So, the other information, we have gross state amounting to 3 million. So, you take note that sa gross state included yung property, the land. Included siya at 350,000. It should be uh, valued at a fair market value at the time of death, di ba? So, the gross state that includes the fair market value of the land. Okay? So, the land was mortgaged for 50000 which was deducted in prior estate, and Haliada paid the same before he died. Okay? So, meaning to say, um, may mortgage yun the moment that I received ni Haliada from the prior resident, pero nabayaran siya ni Haliada. Okay? But take note that ang idadak niya mo is yung portion na nabayaran. Okay? Yan. So, that's 50000 Kasi, na-paid man din yan siya. Okay? So, to get the, the initial basis, okay? The allowable deductions, total 125000 which includes medical expenses of 30000 okay? But you take note that um, the medical expense is not allowed, the as deduction, to exclude medical expenses. But it, it, it excludes transfer to national government or transfer of public use amounting to 50000 okay? Diba? Yung initial basis natin, no initial basis is um ano fair market value at the time of death of the present versus prior that's 350,000 diba whichever is lower so whichever is lower tayo so you'll have a uh, value taken that's the uh, uh that's 350,000 whichever is lower then less mortgage paid the yung initial basis okay initial basis okay then, um, yung deductions naman, as para mag-terminate yung final basis, ba? That's, ano yung um, formula? So, initial basis divide gross state times deduction, yun yung portion deductible. No? So, that's initial basis, which is 300,000, divide 3 million, yun yung gross estate. Not three million cross the times one hundred forty five thousand. Bakit one forty five thousand ito yung dedu deductions natin? We have unadjusted deduction of one hundred twenty five thousand. So, uh, it includes medical expenses. No, so that's why we deduct ano uh, medical expenses. No, amounting to thirty thousand. No, deduct natin yung medical expenses, but we should add transfer for public use amounting to 50,000. So the unadjusted of 125 plus transfer for public use of 50 less medical expenses of 145. So 145 is our uh, deductions. No? Then per rita, that's 300,000 initial basis divide gross state times 145,000, we have 14,500. Okay? No? And then 
you'll determine na the percentage, uh, the vanishing deduction percentage. So, uh, you'll determine no, yung time, no? So, compare mo yung date na na-acquire niya, that's 2014, tapos na matay siya, um, November 2018, no? So, that's actually more, uh, more than four years, di ba? So, from July 3, 2014 up to November 2018. That's more than um, five years. Uh, more than four years, but less than five years. Okay, so yung percentage na gamitin mo should be uh, 20%. So, final basis, final basis times the vanishing deduction percentage of 20%, you'll have vanishing deduction of 57,100. Okay, that's the vanishing deduction. Okay, next, we do have special deductions. Okay, so special deduction, first, we have standard deduction. So this is a fixed amount equivalent to 5 million, which is automatically deductible are not subject to any substantiation. Meaning, walang requisites. My standard, each decedent, mamatay, my standard deduction now 5 million. Before, for pre-train, pre no? so before train law, um, 1 million lang yung standard deduction, but... Uh, after train law, ano na siya? 5 million na yung standard deduction. Okay? Yun siya. So, you also have family home. No? So, the family home is a dwelling house where a person and his family reside. And the land with it is situated. Okay? So, yung value na include in the gross state, so the current fair market value or original value of the family home, whichever is higher, shall be included in the gross state of the resident. Okay, so your family home, dapat, uh, for it to be deductible, dapat included in the gross estate. Okay? Yung valuation date niya, the family home shall be valued as of the time of death of the decedent. Okay? Conditions for allowable of deduction, decedent must have died on or after July 28, 1992. Okay? Then, the total value of the family home must be included in the gross state of the decedent at fair market value. Diba? The family home must be the actual residence of the decedent and his family at the time of his death, as certified by the barangay captain of the, de uh, of the locality where the family home is situated. Then, uh, deductions not exceed the fair market value or zonal value of the family home as included in the gross state, but not exceeding 10 million. So, ang allowable deduction lang niya is um, kumpila, ang nasa, kumpila ang fair market value, no? Um, na naasa gross estate pero ang maximum amount na nato pwede deduct is 10 million. Okay? So, if the fair market value is greater than 10 million, then 10 million lang atong pwede i-claim. But if the fair market value uh, is less than 10 million, so the entire uh, value should be claimed as family home deduction. Okay? So, it is a deduction from common expenses or common properties or separate properties of the resident as the case may be. So, depende siya. If the property is um, exclusive property, so, it's exclusive deduction. Pero pag part sa conjugal property, uh, um, ano siya, common, common deduction po siya. Meaning to say, i-divide mo siya of two. Pero pag exclusive, yan. Uh, whole, pero pag common in dividing mode. Okay? Say for example, the current value of the family home at the time of his death of Mr. X is 16 million uh, when the personal value is 17.5. So, by what amount shall the family home be included in a gross estate? So, whichever is higher, diba? So, the amount to be included in a gross estate uh, should be 17.5 because whichever is higher. Pero, yung family home deduction mo is only 10 million. Only because it is the maximum amount allowed. So, you include in the gross state at 17.5, pero i-claim mo siya deduction at 10 million. Okay? So, if the family home is a conjugal or community property, the amount deductible is the share of the resident lang in such property. So, kung ano siya, kung... Um, kung conjugal property or common property, so... Uh, i-divide di mo ang fair market value by 2 before ni mo siya i-compare sa 10 million. Diba? So, say for example, the same case, so 17,500 divide 2, that's 8,750. 
no? So, 8750 lang pwede mo i-claim as deduction. Yan. Okay, yun. But there are instances na, um, for example, land and build, uh, land niya, um, construction sa house. There is instances na ang land exclusive niya, ang building or the house is ano, common. So, yung land exclusive, whole, yung common, i-divide mo yung house or building, i-divide mo to, i-add mo, saka mo siya i-compare to 10 million. But if the entire property, meaning the land and uh, building or the home, no, um, is common lahat, the entire is divide mo ng two. For, or if common siya exclusive, uh, if common divide two pa exclusive, yan, i-compare mo lang siya diretso with the ano, maximum, which is 10 million. Okay? So, pag common, i-divide muna ng 2. Yung fair market value ng property. Okay. So, let's have amount received by ear under RA 4917. So, this pertaining to the benefits granted and received by the ears of the resident from his employer, uh, such as consequent separ uh, separation of service due to the death of the resident. Provided, however, that such amount is included in the gross state of the resident. So, yun lang. Yung RA, uh, amounts received by RA 497, for it to be deductible, dapat included siya in the gross estate. Then, yung walang po siya i-deduct. Okay. Next, we have the share of the surviving spouse. Okay. Yung share of the surviving spouse, although um, for this, ano, um, discussion um, kasi we'll still computing for the state tax of an unmarried resident. So, di pa ni magamit ng share of, share of the surviving spouse. So, ito yung deduction na na, uh, na akay common na wala ka exclusive. Kasi of course, if unmarried yung ay, uh, yung deduction na um, na akay married resident na wala kay unmarried resident. Kasi of course, unmarried man siya so walang surviving spouse. So, but for uh, deduction purposes, uh, for discussion in deduction, so, kasi pag married ka, you'll determine if the proper, uh, how much the, is the exclusive properties and how much is the common properties. No? So, yung common properties, i-divide mo lang siya yung 2 by 2. Or common properties less common deductions, divide 2 or multiply by 50%. You have the share of the surviving spouse as deduction. Again, that's common properties. All common properties um, uh, ng descendant at saka yung surviving spouse. Diba? Kasi dapat kasi ang matakasal lang is ang ano, ang kay, kay descendant lang. Hindi dapat matakasal ang ano, ang property ni surviving spouse. That's why we shall deduct share the surviving spouse to get the exclusive uh, interest lang yun ni descendant. Yan. So, yun nga. We'll determine common properties pero we'll deduct common deductions and then multiply mo ng 50% or divide 2 to get the share the surviving spouse. Okay? So, that's the deductions. no? Particularly with the deductions for resident citizen, uh, non-resident citizen, non-resident citizen, and resident alien. Okay, so um, thank you everyone.